All right, so in this video, I'm going to give you four tips that you can use to land your first clients as a freelancer. So I assume you know how to code. I assume that you put up your demo site, so you're ready to go. Make sure that demo site looks really good. Remember, whether you're selling simple web design with WordPress installs or Shopify modifications, or you want to develop some custom backend code for people, you still have to make your demo site look good. People would judge you on the appearance of the site in a big way. Much in the same way, they'll judge you based on how clean and concise your emails are, straight to the point. Also, on the way you dress and carry yourself. Now, if I was going in selling myself as a professional developer, I would not wear a hoodie as I am now. I would wear a, a simple dress shirt clean pants you know you don't have to go full suit that's a little bit too much that's actually is too much as a developer but have a nice dress shirt on look the role when you want to sell yourself as a professional but since you know i'm uncle steph uh, i don't have to do that now i've passed that barrier but for you when you're first starting out especially you have to dress the role dress professional all right so that being said how do you get your first client you got your site up you got your nice shirt so what do you do well the first thing I always suggest, number one, is you go and see if you know anybody in your friends or family or acquaintance, acquaintances or acquaintances of friends or family who have some sort of small business. Let me emphasize small business because if you are, are a small startup, uh, freelance developer, first timer, noob, nerd, no big company is going to want to deal with you. Bigs don't deal with bigs. Uh, excuse me. Bigs don't deal with small. Big companies don't steal, deal with small companies, let alone people brand new to the game. You as a new person in the game, you're going to have to deal with small companies, people who uh, are just beginning even. So that's what you want to do. First of all, see if you can get uh, some jobs word of mouth, You know, meaning through friends, family, acquaintances. As I say... As I've said in many of my YouTube videos, you want to find two to three, two to three small projects that you can do for people. This is going to go a long way in terms of A, developing your skill sets, developing a little bit of reputation, because first and foremost, when somebody is going to hire a developer, a web designer, a web developer, whatever type of developer, they want to see people who have experience because when you're writing code, when you're building systems, the coding is just part of the process. That's why I encourage you, you're in the, you're in the mentoring group, I encourage you to do my freelance course because it's freelance and project management. Especially look at the templates. The template is going to help you understand a lot, especially the time tracker template. It breaks down how to look at projects and development. A lot of people who uh, done that course. They've, a lot of people have told me just that template is worth the price of admission. It's included. Do it. Another thing you should do is do the Lizard Wizard course if you haven't already done it as well. Again, this is going to help you with uh, personal communication skills, anxieties, etc., etc., motivations, all very important when you want to get out there in the real world. Anyhow, so first thing you do, word of mouth, friends, family, acquaintances, Concentrate on small businesses or people who are starting up businesses. The key to that is to get two to three real projects that you can demo to prospective clients. You do those for free. Don't do huge jobs for free. You know, one week jobs, two, three day jobs, you know, that, that sort of thing. Uh, once you have those completed, you're going to A, learn a lot. B, you're going to have some proof of your ability. And C, then you have something you can put on your website profile to prospective clients. Trust me, when they see that you've done real work for real businesses, your ability to land sales, land new clients will skyrocket 268%. All right, so what can you do afterwards? Well, if you don't have any contacts through friends or family, or maybe if you've done that website for free for a nonprofit organization, that might lead to, to uh, clients as well. You gotta put up your site. So you put up your site though, and uh, maybe you can write a few articles that are SEO, geographically SEO targeted. So let's say you live in New York, New York City. You might put up some articles about building a website or a social media presence slash website for your coffee shop. 